Hey there, YouTube friends. Welcome back to The Millionaire House. Today, I'm giving you a full guest room tour and all the hall information. I'm gonna share how we went from this, our catch-all room, to this, a lovely space for our guest. I hope you enjoy this video. Hey you guys and welcome to the final day of my guest bedroom series. I hope you guys have had an amazing time. Today I'm going to give you a tour of the guest bedroom and all the product information. Okay, first things first, I'll start with the chandelier because this chandelier is actually where all of my inspiration came from. A few weeks ago on my stories, you guys saw that I walked through the Restore for Habitat from Humanities that my sweet friend Denise turned me on to, and I found this beauty and fell in love. It was only $35, and so I grabbed it, and you know, I decided that it would be perfect in this room, and, and it just gave me an idea of a very French chic romantic space for our guests to enjoy when they're here. Next, I'd like to talk about my favorite feature in the room, the artisanal wall uh, candle holders. These I absolutely fell in love with. The other day I was shopping and Pottery Barn had their one day premiere event and I found these and they were on sale for $34 for a set and normally they're $120 for a set. So that was a complete win. The problem was they were on back order until May. So here's a tip. If you find something that you like online and you have a local store, call your local store because a lot of times they'll have the product um, on site and they're happy to ship it to you. So I called our Tampa store, they didn't have any available and I called Jacksonville and they had five. So I grabbed four of them and I think they are absolutely perfect in this space. And for the details on the bed, I actually ordered this bed from Birch Lane. Um, it was my first time purchasing from that particular brand under the umbrella. And um, it arrived and we put it together. And then with the pillows, you guys saw me do a session in the previous video on styling the bed. And most of these pillows came from Home Goods. The Euro shams all came from Home Goods. Uh, the two toss pillows on the end came from Pottery Barn. This one in the middle I found on clearance at Marshall's for $9. And then these little toss pillows I found at Pier 1, also in the clearance bin. And then as far as the bedding goes, I showed you in the previous video how I like to style the bedding. I found all this bedding, you guys, at Home Goods. They always have really affordable options for beautiful bedding. So I layered on top of the sheet, I put a very lightweight blanket because we live in Florida and we have very warm summers. And then in the event that our guests are too cold, they can use the, um, the duvet and comforted us inside the duvet. So everything came from Home Goods, all very affordable, and um, I think that's all I have to say about that. Okay, and, and this area, the nightstand, everything actually came together really nicely. I was just browsing around for a piece that would fit into this space because this is a queen size bed, which is probably a pretty large bed for this room. And I wasn't sure if I would have enough space for a, 
a decent sized nightstand, but I found this one. It was a floor sample at Pier 1, so I got it at a very deep discount. And it's perfect because it has an area that allows us to stock um, some light snacks and water and the Wi-Fi code for our guest. And the lamp I found also at Pottery Barn at on their um, premier one day event. They have that I think twice a year. And so they always have like steals when they do that you guys. So keep your eyes open for that. And then the mirrors I put on both sides of the room and they are um, one of the newer mirrors at Kirkland's. However, I love the shape of them and I knew they'd be perfect in the space, but I wasn't a huge fan of the color. They're kind of like a, a sea green, which was pretty, but not for this room. So I went over them um, painted with the same Ralph Lauren metallic paint that I actually used in the stencil. And I think everything turned out lovely. For the Le Jardin Boutonique wall art, this is an oldie but goodie that I found years ago, actually in our old house at Kirkland's, and it had been sitting in our garage in my staging pile forever. I wasn't really sure that I was ever going to use it in the house, but I feel like it just ties into that French chic theme perfectly, and we had a lot of open space. This is actually the wall that is wired for our TV, but we haven't put one in here yet. And so maybe we'll move this when we mount the TV. I, I think this room was kind of wired backwards, but in any event, for now, this is where this is gonna stay because I love it here and I think our guest will too. So on um, the first video in this series, I stenciled this wall for you and it only took about 90 minutes. So if you missed that, it's in this playlist. It was super easy. I ordered this stencil from Royal Design Studio and uh, the name of it is the French B trellis all over stencil and then it's French and it ties into the theme. It was just great. And I love the way it turned out and I used the metallic paint so that when the blinds are fully open and the sun is shining in the room, it gives it this beautiful shine on the wall. And one of the most asked questions that I get on Instagram about our home is our paint color. So I'm going to answer that for you today. The Paint in the home is custom by the builder. However, I took the can and they give you in your home toolkit and I went to Sherwin-Williams and the very closest color that they make is the eggshell and I'll leave the actual number in the description box below. So now you know what color the paint is on our walls and hopefully you're inspired to maybe do something creative on uh, a wall in your house as well. So I also thought it would be nice to incorporate a sitting area in the room and you know, the bedrooms aren't, they're not super duper large, but they're big enough to, to give guests a space to just kind of sit and relax in. And honestly, our most frequent guests are my in-laws and I think they would really appreciate this because they need a little break from the twins every now and again. <laughs> but, um, you know, I put this, the sitting area right in front of the window so that they could either look out the window or when we decide to install a television, they can sit here and watch TV. 
The chairs, I couldn't believe this, but I actually found the chairs on Amazon. And so, you know, with the Prime membership, they were here in two days. And I thought uh, they were a perfect fit because they weren't too big. So they didn't, you know, take up too much space. And they looked very comfortable and they actually are very comfortable. So um, I still need to scotch guard these because they're so light, but I love them here. And I may find myself up here reading by the window with a glass of wine soon. And um, yeah, I think that's it about the chairs. The panels behind me, I bought these on clearance years ago at Bed Bath & Beyond. I, when we lived in our other house, we weren't even here, but they were like $15. So I picked them up just thinking, there's gotta be a, a place for me to be able to use these at some point. And so we finally installed these. And that's pretty much it. The wall behind me is bare. I've got a clock on it that I'll show uh, before the end of the video, but that space is designated for a keyboard and to come in and practice music. So I'm not able to furnish it. And quite honestly, I feel like the room would be a little over furnished if I put anything else in here. So that wall is um, pretty bare. But that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the tour and that you found some inspiration. I sincerely thank you for watching this video. Until next time, love and peace.